Okay, it's listening. Do you hear me? Google, do you hear me? She said, um, guitars. I love guitars. I love bass guitars. I love big amps. Big stacks of big amps. Giant amps. A mountain of amps. Our speech-to-text server is running. Let's, uh... Let's see if it's listening now. Okay, it's listening. Do you hear me? Google, do you hear me? Now, let's try messing with this continuous feedback. <sighs> Confuse myself here. This should be starting to generate new ones. Of course, I'm recording before I test it. Oops, that's. So yeah, I'm a graffiti artist. I like to use spray paint, and my favorite color is yellow. I can go crazy here. So I'm basically taking the input text and merging it with just some st style of prompts to be consistent across the whole thing. Oh my god. Horror. Hot air balloons. And birds. Flying over this great nation that is the United States of America. It's a wonderful place. Everybody's so happy. Giant crowds of happy people that all get along. Okay, now we're going. Now we're cooking. Cooking. Cooking in the kitchen of love. This is beautiful. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I gotta get the... Beautiful scenery, mountain landscapes, desert cactus, field of flowers, sunrise in the desert. Garbage dump. World of when I say sh it should say trash. Or garbage, I guess. Landfill. Post apocalyptic world where the landfill is the new shopping mall. Alright, let's go in and change our style prompts. That's the thing about this. The only problem here is that, like, I want to explain what I'm doing, but that doesn't make for good prompts. Um, so, those are the negative prompts. These are. That's what's going in. Okay, so and then I have a couple different style prompts I can. I can update. Let's do. Giving away some good prompts here. And let's start over with my face again. <laughs> so, what I did there is I just held down the one key to. So, if I hold down the key, it just, uh, just lets the live input in and otherwise it's going to take the output image and and feed it back in and we can play with the settings in real time let's get some more drastic stuff going on here I think I think the more strength I give it the more it's probably going to get black and white Yeah, no, like you can go all the way up here and it's probably not it's not using the reference image anymore. Which I guess is a good way to bypass that. Um, 
and you can find one you like and start iterating off of that if you can catch it in time. Yeah, and there's a mix of just controls and the way they're your network set up plus whatever happens to be talk, talked about so I mean this would be better if I just had a like a story to tell because then you're setting a scene like the scene is sitting on top of a rooftop watching the fireworks it's the 4th of July but the entire world happens to be protesting let's do point 0.5 and we're taking like half of the input image and half of whatever is to be generated next <laughs> it's gotta be my hair but something about it's just like it's ready to go into clown town without me say, mentioning the C word. <laughs> no, don't, don't use the C word. Clowns. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Clowns. It's clown time. Clown cars. Clown town city. What else is there to see here? I mean, this is just one example. We could have all of these running at once. So basically, what I've got here is two different tutorials I followed and bridged them together because uh, this didn't exist yet. The first part was a tutorial from three years ago, I'll have to dig up, on how to do the um, speech-to-text process in Python. Um, and then so, you know, this took, this would take somebody an hour or two to follow and put together. Um, you could share it, but honestly, you have to have Python installed, and it's a really simple script. It was good for me to learn. So yeah, there's a button to... I made a button to, to stop it, a button to start it, and I should make another button to calibrate it, because you can set where the noise floor is. For the speech recognition, I didn't even bother doing that this time. It seems to be working just fine. Um, and then, oh, what else is in here? So then, this is kind of the, what I. You follow that tutorial, and then you end up having, you know, it, it ends with. It ends with your messages coming in. And it's like, hey, there's a bunch you can do with this. And yeah, yeah, there is. So, um, I think we're using something from this info, but not, not that I know. Okay, so then, what am I doing? I, so once you have this rolling, the only messages coming in should be your data, which is, receives from the, from your, speech to text API and then so I decided I wanted um, I guess five rows to build a prompt from which might be excessive but whatever keeps it evolving keeps the themes you know over the course of a minute as long as you're talking it'll be giving you nuance if you don't it, it'll just stay where it's at. Um, then I decided to reorder them 
just basically flip so that the newest, mostly for readability for this video, that like the newest ones are popping up on top. Otherwise, when I was first doing this, it was, it was working, but um, the newest line would be just like it's ordered in the original table at the bottom. And then I don't think this convert is necessary at all. It didn't really seem to even work all that well. And then got a couple substitutes. And I guess this first one is just to take that forward slash data out of the out of the text. And then I realized I needed there was two quotation marks or for all the incoming messages and that first substitute I couldn't get it to take both of them out, so I just made another one. Um, and then I can't really show you this filter list. It's very long and I had to dig through parts of the internet I didn't really want to go to because I was just scrolling TikTok videos using the audio just to see. So I didn't have to be talking. I, I hate talking. Um, especially, uh, no, I'm out of practice, basically. It's just a lot of mental work to, to, to communicate and to talk to myself. It's just like, it feels crazy. This feels crazy. Um, so I was, yeah, I was using TikTok videos and then this guy starts just like rightfully ranting about this neo-Nazi elementary school in this area. You know, basically, hey, this is part of, this should be part of the charter school conversation that's happening in the country right now. And, but he said a bunch of things and I don't know what flagged the image generation that's based in the cloud to service thank you f thank you for this tool but you know whatever their api was like well this we identified harmful potentially harmful stuff and it's like i didn't type that in but i did create a system for whatever anybody's saying to be typed in and the other way this is set up is that you know the way this container um, this computer renderer works is, you know, if you want to generate an image, you click pulse. I was like, well, I'm interested in just getting this going and doing its own thing. Like, I really like these evolving systems that take some input and then do their own thing. Um, but what happens when your communication to the server breaks is like, if you want to see what's happening here, so I'm just looking at when it's it's done loading. And, and so he, here's its loading state. And I basically reverse that from on to off so that when it's done, it creates a trigger, goes back through, and then pulses it again. So it's just when it finishes an image, it's on to the next one. Uh, when it gets this error, it every frame it it tries to send it gives an error and now you're spamming the service with requests for obviously inappropriate content so i had, basically i had to go and make a filter list to hopefully bypass all that and i wish i could show you it um but it, Basically, there's a really cool example in the operator snippets in Touch Designer where you, um, it's the last example. When it's showing a substitute, you know, you have this before and after field, and here you see I left it blank um, because you can use a table that just says before and after, and not only can you, you know, you can use this to filter out words or phrases, although I'm not not sure exactly how well that, that works. Um, but, you know, 
I'll, I'll use a benign term here that can mean different things, like a private investigator. Uh, so if I say the word dick, dick, <clears throat> it returns eggplant. So that's pretty easy, but I really can't show anyone that list because I feel gross having had to put it together. And most of the things are blank, but, um, but some of them are fun. Or you can, you know, you can also use it like, I don't know. So you can could be really creative, could create another one of these because, okay, I'm talking like how many of the things am I saying are descriptive things that you would actually want to put in a prompt. So, you know, every time I use the word things, maybe that should actually just trigger something that's like a little bit more descriptive, but not in too much in one direction or other, or, you know, and there's like a lot of, you know, sexual tech terminology that, you know, could be harmful. It could be, could be just normally descriptive, but you know, like I'm just kind of having fun with this so you know if you say sex or sexy or the things where it could easily get into the realm of harassment um it well it's not showing my replacement i was seeing it earlier but like i think the word sex just comes back as friend or fr friendship <laughs> it's you know it's just like we'll keep this PG ish. All right, now I haven't. What has this been looking like this whole time? It's just friendship. So, anyways, hopefully there was nothing inappropriate on screen while I wasn't watching, but. Yeah, so that's basically how this works. Flipping cop cars. Yeah, there was this bug flying around my room, and it's actually, nope, oh, it's not above me anymore. <laughs>